Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Today's video is an all Dollar Tree command center. Now back in April, I made a command center on this channel using Dollar Tree Jenga pieces and chalkboards. And I know it's been super difficult to recreate it because the Jenga pieces aren't available to everyone. So I decided to make one that would be a little easier to recreate, especially since Dollar Tree is totally stocked up on back to school materials, which is what I'm using for this DIY. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. And please go ahead and hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm gonna be using eight of the Dollar Tree dry erase boards and they come with these awesome markers. So you have tons of markers left over, but we are gonna be removing them for the tutorial because they're gonna be in the way. They also have magnetic strips. Now, if you're putting this on a refrigerator, you can totally keep this, but I am going to take these off because I really don't need them and they're just going to create a little bit of bulk to put on my wall. So they're really easy to take off and I'm gonna do that to all of the frames. And if you want, you can go ahead and save those magnetic pieces for other projects. Reusing stuff is totally the best way to save money. So now that that's ready, you can decide if you want yours vertically or horizontally. I'm gonna do mine vertically and I'm gonna be doing two rows of four, just like I did my Jenga DIY. By the way, I'll link that below if you want to go ahead and check that one out. So there's going to be a little gap, but that's okay because they still meet at these ends, which is where we're going to attach it. And for that, I'm going to use my E6000 and my key, which I'll link that below to one I found on Amazon, but you can also find this at Sally Beauty. So I'm going to add a generous amount to both the top and the bottom of this. So now you're going to push this up against the frame next to it, making sure that it's nice and straight and aligned, and you're going to be doing this to all of your frames. Now you can go ahead and glue your second row if you want to. I didn't do this because I was testing out to see if hot glue would work as well, and spoiler alert, it definitely doesn't. So I did add some weight to the frames as they dried because some of them do lift a little bit, and the next morning they are perfectly attached, but I am going to reinforce this but for now I am going to attach my second row and this is going to be done the exact same way I'm gonna make sure that they fit nice up against each other and you'll see that they have the little gaps and now I'm going to use my e6000 and right at those corners where they meet is where I'm gonna be adding the e6000 I'm gonna go ahead and attach attach this by just pushing it up against the other row and making sure it's aligned. If it needs more glue, definitely add it now and make sure that you're getting it on all the corners. And now while it's drying, I'm gonna use these popsicle sticks to reinforce everything. So I don't wanna get them on the gaps. I'm just going to get them directly on the corners. So I'm gonna add E6000 onto my popsicle sticks and start placing them right at those little corners making sure that the gap is still visible. And I'm also going to add two going in the other direction and I'm gonna do this to all of my frames to make sure that they don't fall apart. So this is the exact same way that I attached my mirrors in my anthropology wall dupe video. I'll leave that video below, but it's one of my favorite DIYs. It's still hanging in my living room and it has survived a very brutal move. So definitely check that out, it is very sturdy. So now that everything is dry, you wanna make sure that all of your popsicle sticks are fully dry and you can go ahead and flip your command center over so you can add your accessories. To hold all of my markers, I decided to use this magnetic holder from Dollar Tree, which is in the back to school section. And I'm just gonna add a very, very thin but generous line of E6000 at the very top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and position that at the bottom right frame. You can of course add yours wherever you'd like, but I had to add some popsicle sticks at the bottom so it didn't slouch forward. And I also added some painter's tape just to hold it in place while the E6000 dried. Next, I added these magnetic clips, which are also in the back to school section. And these are just to hold little fun notes or pictures. So I added E6000 directly to the back and then placed it in the middle of each frame. 
I only ended up using three of them since my fourth frame had the holder, and then I used some Dollar Tree mounting tape on the popsicle sticks to mount it on the wall. You can also use command hooks or even nails. How you hang it is totally up to you, but this is where I placed my mounting tape, and bam, I have a super functional, adorable command center. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and thank you so, so much for watching. Till next time.